All right, today we are gonna show you how to load this U-Haul auto transport trailer with this Jeep Wrangler 1997 TJ. We will be towing with our 2019 Ram 1500. Always smart to uh, set the parking brake on the towing vehicle. So the first thing you wanna do is make sure you take your shoes from casual to work mode. Now we're ready. The U-Haul trailers come with these tire straps, but unfortunately they're not gonna work for 35s. So I went ahead and purchased these from U-Haul. These are oversized tire straps meant to fit up to a 38 inch tire. There's that part number on these guys. They weren't too bad. I think they were like 24 bucks with a discount code. You can pick them up, book them right with the trailer when you get them from the store. Let's see, there you go. They're showing right on there what you do with them. U-Haul gives you a safety chain to hook to your frame. So we're gonna go ahead and get that out of the way and ready. Let's lay that up here. Another one in the rear here. Just to make it easier, gonna get this guy out of the way and ready to go. Just to be safe, we got our BFG gloves on. Some straps right here on both sides. Just gotta grab this little pin down, pull the ramps out. Makes that great noise. Uh, when clicking on the oversized straps, you can make sense to kind of scoot this all the way over. And then when you throw this guy on there, you can push it all the way over to the side. I don't think you're gonna have room once you put the tire on. That's why I'm doing it ahead of time. This is pretty cool. They have these uh, fender on the driver's side drops down with these latches that look like Jeep hood latches. I'm assuming it's for people with doors. We don't have doors on, but we're gonna do it anyway just to make sure she fits easily and show you how that works. That's pretty cool. This is definitely would be a good idea to have a spotter right about where that camera is. I don't have that today, so we're just gonna, you know, hope for the best. against the stops here to be able to fit your strap on. So I've got it in neutral. I'm just gonna kind of rock it forward to make sure she's centered on the tire. And take the strap up and around. All right, well, here's something we noticed. I can't move this over. It won't rotate around enough and I can't slide it behind the tire. So I'm gonna have to rotate the switch with the position of the tire grip. So we're gonna have to go like this, and I'm gonna wanna have to hook up to be able to slide it. Let's see, so we're gonna take this guy off of here. And simply flip it over and hope that goes back in the same. So that turned out to be a little harder than I thought. So what I did was go ahead and tape this uh, strap here to a long ruler and that's going to make it much easier to feed this in here. There you go, much easier. Boom, there you go, flipped over to the right side. Alright, now we have this on the right side so we'll be able to do this. I want to reinstate, I am no expert at this, I'm just kind of showing you through the motions of the easiest way that I think to do this. So now we'll be clipping through from this way. Get it on there and clearly, clearly it fit. So what we're just gonna do is leave the Jeep in neutral and rock it forward a little bit so we get it centered on the tire. Now that it's centered on the tire, we're gonna take the strap, run it over here. And make sure that's gripped right on top there. These restraints move so you can center that up on your tire. Take your strap, feed it through. 
Ewell says you have to have at least six inches if it be the proper height for your tire. Be the proper length for the proper height tire. And then we can get down here. Clearly these things need some WD-40. Here. This guy here. Again, move this guy to the right position. Now it's time for the ramps. Let's go ahead and grab these struts. And wiggle them a little bit and then send them in. They lock automatically, make sure that's in there and good. Send it. In case you're wondering, the Jeep has an E-Pass sticker on the front I can't take off. I'm already gonna be paying for three axles, don't wanna get charged for the Jeep as well, so just covering the plate there, just so, uh, you know, don't get double charged for tolls. Next, we wanna secure these safety chains. They say to go around the axle, it can be kinda loose. Um, I'm gonna go for a part of the frame here where the brake uh, line is, has a little guard so it don't pinch and cut the brake line. So yeah, these aren't, these aren't tying the, the Jeep down, they're just for safety in case it was to break off. Go ahead and twist this, get it on there a little bit, and run that through. Make sure we'll get a little more. Normally they come with like a rubber guard. This one clearly has been broken off, but I think we're all right with that sitting on there like that. The front safety chain here, run it around the axle too. 30 30 doing its job. We want that to be a little shorter, so we'll. Twist it up a little bit. And run that through. There you go. All right, so in the Jeep on the trailer, this was a little advice given to me. So we're gonna, this to believe Rick, and then to actually put it in four low as well. And then we're gonna put it back in first gear. So that's the setup we're gonna leave her on the, to the trailer for towing. And there we have it. We are ready for our trip to uh, Jeep Toberfest here in Florida. We got the uh, Wrangler all loaded up. Got the Ram sitting. She's not sitting too bad. It's the first time towing. <laughs> See how she looks. That's not too bad. So again, I'm aware the Jeep is not over the axles like most would tow. This is from U-Haul's recommendation. This particular trailer, I went over and over, asked U-Haul and a bunch of other people, and it's definitely supposed to have the Jeep pinned up against these stops right here. This is also the same as their video on how to load a two-door Wrangler. So you know what? I bought their insurance. If she tows okay, we'll find out. I don't do this all the time. Just a uh, quick tow around town before we take her on the highway. She seems to be doing all right. Nope. Just a quick visual stop. It's 60 miles, just make sure everything is still good. All right, looking good. Seems to be doing pretty good. Got her all the way over here to the event. Took her to an off-road park, loaded on and off several times, and it's towing like a dream, nice and straight. And uh, I'll definitely be renting this thing again. And uh, 
right, we're back in one piece, ready to unload her. You know, this was better to park on these straps so they don't uh, they don't drag if you're using the oversized tire ones. Since I figured this would be useful, I wanted to give you the exact uh, measurements. It uh, comes in at 79 inches uh, available in between the rails left to right. And the length here we have, this is all the way up against the stops and it's coming in at the back right at 148 inches. So I've definitely got some room. I've seen pictures of four doors on here. I don't know what your wheelbase is. It seems like it would be tight, but I've definitely seen photos of it. But yeah, you've got a 79 by 148. Hope you enjoyed this video and I'll give you some tips on how to load your U-Haul trailer. If you guys found this useful at all, uh, don't hesitate to like and subscribe for uh, more videos. Thanks.